He talked that boxing, Mr. A. On here, double RT boxing. Going over our fight recap. Bradley Skeet retains and keeps the Landell belt. Well, you know, he beats Dale Evans. Pretty much I expect it. Um, people can say this was a born fight. Uh, given it's uh, how Bradley Skeet was the favorite going into this fight. He just played it very safe. Stayed on the outside. Used his reach all day and just jabbed Evans. Hey, he let it be known. I have a very serious mission. I want to keep this Londell belt. And that's that's what he went in for. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go in to win this belt. And I'm going to do exactly that. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm going with my game plan to keep this belt. And he did. He didn't take no risks. He didn't do nothing. He wanted that belt. And now that I... Well, Bradley Ski, and he always fights like that. He don't does nothing if he doesn't have to, which is very good. Uh, I'm glad he, I'm glad he didn't um, change his style up in this fight, even though it was, it could, like I said, it could be ranged as a snooze fest. Because when you do, when he does get into a good elite fighter, and he decides to fight this way, he, he won't get. Um, Penalize or towards the points or something or criticize gonna be like hey Bradley Skeet's doing what Bradley Skeet does he, he don't change his style for nobody you know a lesser opponent as um, Dale Evans or a Sam Egerton he's always fighting the same way you know and I think in the long run that's gonna help him against the elite fighters it was rounds 1 through 12 just peppering jabs uh, showed some some ring generalships, you know, anytime he got even nearly close to the ropes, he'd go right back to the middle of the ring. Dell Evans, I don't know if he even, he's in there trying, but I don't know if he put forth the effort. It, he, he just never seemed to be within range to unleash. You know, he was always either a half step too far or a full step too far. He had step in, Bradley stepped two steps back. It's almost like a Aries Land Lara thing. Like, dude, once someone's um, dedicated to their game plan you ain't gonna change him and, and he could not coax Skeet into anything else but a distance fight and Skeet just eased to a 12 round decision uh, once again he gets to keep the Londale belt you know three three defenses is his now now it all his career all depends on um but well, it, it's not his career but his next major move all depends on uh Pacquiao taking this rematch which I most likely he will because he is the number three WBO does he just wait around for that winner or he does take a stay busy fight who knows who knows what's next for Bradley Skeet but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something if it's a big fight I think it's gonna be over in the States over here but like I said I am a Bradley Skeet fan and I hope big things for him That's the only Walter Woods right now I think he can't beat for sure are Keith Thurman and no for sure is Earl Spence and I lean, I lean towards Keith Thurman like a 75, 25% chance beating him. You know, I think I think he might catch Keith Thurman lucky on a couple of days with that back foot boxing. But everyone else, I give Ski a chance of beating pretty, pretty confidently. This is Double RT Boxing. This is Mr. A. Please subscribe, share the video, leave a comment. Bradley Ski, take it home that Londell belt. Mr. A, signing out.